Today we're smoking up this beautiful pork loin. We're gonna do it in the Pit Boss vertical pellet smoker and we're gonna jump right into it. But before we do, I've gotta get some new pellets in my smoker. So today I'm going with Applewood. I really like uh, Applewood smoke. It's a nice light smoke. I've been using the competition blend, which has hickory and oak in it, um, which are harsher. So this would be a nice mellow smoke. So let's get the pellets in. Okay, so the way this one works, the hopper is kind of integrated into the smoker. So you just lift up that hopper lid. We can dump in these pellets. This is a 20 pound bag. And this will hold almost 50 pounds, maybe a little bit more of uh, pellets. So lid goes down. All right, so now that we got that out of the way, we're gonna make our rub. So I like to keep it real simple. Just a few key ingredients, the first of which is brown sugar. So for that, we're gonna start with a half a cup of brown sugar. So we'll get that in there like that. I was always taught that smoke loves sugar and moisture. So there we go, there's our sugar. All right, next up, two tablespoons of smoked paprika. Now I understand that we're gonna be smoking this but we're not gonna be smoking it for very long. So it's not gonna take on a whole lot of smoke. So it's nice to have this added into our rub. All right, next up, two tablespoons of chili powder. We wanna have some heat to this. So we're gonna get that in there. Okay, now this is gonna give you that sweet heat profile you hear everyone talking about. I'm also gonna do a teaspoon and a half of onion powder. About that much. The same amount of garlic powder. There we go. All right, next up, I'm gonna do a teaspoon and a half of cumin. So we'll add that in there. A teaspoon of coarse ground black pepper. A teaspoon of coarse sea salt. And then last, but certainly not least, my good friend and fellow YouTuber, Leprechaun TV stopped by the other week and dropped off this Feel Little Pig's Rub, which has some kind of a cherry profile to it. So I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of this as well. So now just take your fork and blend this all together. Make sure that brown sugar gets broken down really nice and everything is incorporated well. This is important so that you don't get a big chunk of chili powder just on one piece. You want a nice blend. All right, so our rub's done. Now let's talk about our pork loin. If you weren't exactly sure where the pork loin comes from on the pig, it's just below the back fat on the back and it sits next to the leg right here. So the one I have today is nearly six pounds. Check this out. It's really nice, big, bigger than the ones I normally see. Not too bad of a fat cap here. I guess maybe some people would trim that, but instead I'm just gonna make some incisions here into the fat so we can get uh, some of that rub down in there. Just like so. You don't want to go too far into the meat. Then I'm just going to come across crosswise, across these guys right here. Just like that. And now I can get some rub down in there. So just grab you a handful of rub, get it on there, get it down in those crevices we just made. We're gonna coat the entire thing. Don't be shy. Get it all in there. You'll notice I didn't do too good of a job with that brown sugar because I got some clumps, but it'll be okay. Let's flip it over. Get the rest of this rub. Look at that, beautiful. Massage it in. Look at that. Don't forget to get the sides. Try and use up all that rub you made. Now, of course, if you had a little bit smaller of a roast, maybe you wouldn't need as much, but I want lots of flavor on this guy. 
and the more rub on the non fat cap side the better that fat cap you're not going to eat it so it's really not going to do you a whole lot of good but there we go beautiful all right, so now the choice is yours. You could let this rest in the refrigerator for about two hours, really let that rub work its way in, or you can do what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna put it in right away. I've already got my smoker preheated. So we want our temperature to be somewhere between 225 and 250 in the pit, and we want our internal temperature of the roast to be about 145 when we pull it. So let's get the roast in. I'll show you what happens next. All right, so this smoker requires you to have water in the pan. So we're gonna get some water in there. gonna put my roast in fat side down the reason for that is I don't want all the smoke to settle on the fat I want it on the meat so that's why I'm going fat side down and then finally I'm gonna stick my meat probe right about the center here shut the door And we're gonna let this go until that internal temperature hits 145. Right now, after that pork sat outside, just while I was putting the rub on, it has an internal temperature of 42 degrees. I'm not exactly sure how long this will take, maybe an hour and a half, maybe two hours, we'll find out. And I'll keep you updated if anything changes. We're at the half hour mark. The pit has been holding steady at about 240 degrees. Our internal temp of the pork line is 86 degrees. Let's open up this door and take a peek. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, real nice color. We're not gonna have to spritz this thing at all. It's still nice and moist. So let's get that door closed and we'll come back in another half hour. All right, we're at the one hour mark. Internal temperature is about 123 degrees. The pit has been sitting around 230, 235 for the last hour. And so we've only got about 20 degrees to go on this. Let's take a peek inside. Look at that really nice color. It's starting to get a little bit of a bark, but it's still plenty juicy on top, which is good. We'll just let this do its thing probably for the next uh, 20 minutes or so, and we'll be back. All right, we just hit 145. It took an hour and 45 minutes, but we're ready to get this thing off. So let's get it off and take a look. All right, here it is. Check this out. Got just an absolutely beautiful color. That brown sugar did real good in there, taking in the smoke. So right now I just want to let this rest for about five, 10 minutes. So I'm going to cover it loosely with some foil. We are outside, so I don't want to invite the flies. Just cover that up. and we'll come back when it's time to cut it. All right, it's been about 10 minutes. This thing's been resting. Let's dig into it. Oh, now that looks good right there. Look at that beauty. If I jiggle it, it looks like jello. So let's cut into this guy, see what we got. Look at that, just absolutely amazing do you guys see all the juice coming out of that look at all that juice man look at that i don't like to push all the juice out of my meat but for the camera i'll do it for you guys look at that that's unbelievable so let me cut myself a slice i'll taste it and i'll tell you what i think cut myself a nice thin slice Guys, that is ridiculous. Oh my God. I've never seen anything so juicy. All right, I'm gonna take a bite of this guy. Let's see how it is. Mm. No, you didn't. Oh my God. That is so good and juicy. Real nice smoke. We had that applewood smoke, that rub with the sugar, but then I had the chili powder in there, so we got the sweet and the heat. And the juice factor on this is a 10. I've never eaten such a juicy piece of pork. It's unbelievable. 
Hey, I'll tell you what, pellet smokers, I'm a big fan. If you guys like this video, check out these other two pellet smoker videos right there. I'll see you over there.